Hey, what up, America? This is your boy, Bouchon Glover, the Better Black America TV on YouTube. Now, today is Saturday, October 6th, 2018. Now, the Better Black America brand, the podcast, the live shows, all of that is predicated on entertainment, sports, money, and politics. But today, politics is the hot topic of the day because Judge Kavanaugh, soon to be Justice Kavanaugh, will get confirmed today despite despite, and I repeat this again, despite the efforts of the Democratic Party, more importantly, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, uh, Dianne Feinstein. So Cory Booker's Spartacus moment went null and void, you know, because at the end of the day, uh, Justice Kavanaugh got the numbers and the uh, senators that was on the fence, uh, Jeff Flake, uh, from Senator from Arizona, as well as Susan Collins, the Republican Senator from Maine, um, basically confirmed that they will give their vote and the official confirmation will be today, no later than 3 p.m. on the East Coast. Now, this is going to be just 15 minutes of, uh, of talking points and um, a little, you know, and set the premise of what's to come because uh, the, the road is much clearer now. Now that you see the Democratic Party, you know, throwing everything at uh, Justice Kavanaugh, soon to be Justice Kavanaugh, including the kitchen sink, uh, did not even work out. And we understanding the term dark money. So keep that in your mind. Dark money. Where does the funding come from? And what, where the, where the financing come from? Who's motivating uh, these individuals to do what they do? Because the Democratic Party uh, does not represent me as a man. And I have to say this because... Before the 2016 election uh, season, um, I got on the uh, Democratic bus, and I'm speaking from a metaphoric perspective. And as I got on the Democratic bus, Hillary Clinton was driving the bus, and she gave me that look like, wait a minute, what are you doing here? I thought we brought you to heal. You didn't get three strikes. You're not in prison. You, you, you are a super predator, remember? And I was like, whatever, uh, Hillary, Rotten Clinton, I'm about to just... Go ahead and have my Rosa Park moment. And I'm about to sit on the front of your bus that you drive. And before I could sit down on the bus, I, 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 I saw the AARP community and more importantly, the baby boomers. They were just sitting there. A lot of them was coming from dialysis and, you know, they was taking medication. I'm sitting back, man, these guys look like the Tuskegee experiment, you know, 2.0. You know, because there's over 600 dialysis centers in California. So when the baby boomers expire and, and, and Generation X get, gets older, are we supposed to sit, uh, fulfill, you know, those open seats for the dialysis and all that? But we're not because we're starting to wake up and we understand we are what we eat. But that's going to be another topic of discussion moving down the road. So since I couldn't sit in the front, so I said, I'm going to go ahead and sit in the middle of the bus. And when I got to the middle of the bus, I, I, I was I was I was like, wait a minute, what are all these white women and white girls doing here? And then I said, oh, Hillary Clinton says she wants to champion women and girls and more importantly, white women and white girls. I'm like, OK, but you guys are not minorities. What's, what's the case? Well, OK, let me let me just keep it pushing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit. The third section of the bus. OK, but when I got there, all I saw was members of the LBGTQ, LBGTQ community, and they were looking at me like, what are you doing here, black man? What are you doing here, Mr. Heterosexual? And I'm sitting like, wait a minute. Okay, I'm a black man. The Democratic Party is, is, is supposed to be fighting for the poor and disenfranchised, and more importantly, minorities, but they say my race as a people is a minority, but None of these people fit the minority disposition or am I not a part of the minority process? And I'm saying, OK, well, OK, whatever, whatever. Let me go sit in the back of the bus. That's what that's where the homies at. So I got to the back of the bus. What? No homies back there. It was immigrants. Talk about Binchi Chan, Orale Puto, Binchi Mayate, Muevate. I was like, wait a minute. There's no room for the black man on the Democratic bus. Wow. When did this happen? So I said, you know, let me off this bus. Ding, ding. Got off on the next stop. And I said, I'm going to go across the street. 
and I'm going to catch the Republican bus. But I was waiting. I saw a couple limos drive by, a motorcade drive by. I said, wait a minute. They're not going to pick me up. And I thought about it and I said, wait a minute. So the black man have no room in the two party system, especially if he's poor and disenfranchised. But then I said, they used to tell us we have to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps. But I had boots on. I said, okay, I'm going to tie them up and I'm going to sport it because the hell with you two party system because it ain't nothing but a masculine and a feminine, a patriarch and a matriarch at the highest level from an elitist perspective bumping heads, going against each other, because whatever going on with the women's movement, time's up and all of that's personal. Because there's no legislation on the table that we can change any laws for the LBGTQ community or the women's uh, community. So now it's time to, you know, get this, start having the conversation to get the uh, country or to get the system to calibrate because they forgot about the human race. And as a black man, we are the leaders of the humans, of the human race here in America, because we're in that constitution twice as Native Americans and as uh, three fifths. And the three fifths was the transatlantic slave trade. Uh, but we do know, and there's not an anthropologist or archaeologist will debate this fact, but they will, all they will do is confirm this fact that the indigenous people was here before Columbus even thought about this place dating back 20 30 40 50 in some cases 60,000 years now the southern uh tribes of the natives the seminoles the cherokees the apaches there there were black tribes but in terms of history what people do they erase your history to get you to actually um, forget about it and act like it never existed that every black man or any man of color um, is a descendant of the American slave trade, but we've been here before they got here, and that gunpowder and those uh, chains of shackles, and then cutting the deal with the Red Indian is what pretty much shut that down. Because you know they they there's books out there that said that you know they enslaved them as well because they rather deal with the Red Indian, send them out there to Montana and Idaho and give them reservation to deal with the black man because they knew that the black man has the power, and just to get back to the premise, Justice Kavanaugh will be confirmed today. And Cory Booker's part of his moment didn't work. Uh, Dianne Feinstein's uh, leakage in her organization or her group leaking uh, the, the, the uh, Dr. Ford's um, accusations, which was over 30 years ago, like almost 40 years ago. You know, but I, I appreciate the fact that Susan Collins, that Susan Collins, the Republican senator, she had her time to shine yesterday and, and, and she did an amazing job when she went on record as to why she's going to confirm Judge Kavanaugh today. Because not one person corroborated the story. Then she said that she doesn't know who took her home. She doesn't know who took her to the party. She don't know who uh, house it was. She can't locate it. But then the Democrats will say in traumatic situations, uh, you, you sometimes you forget, you know, that's a bunch of BS because usually in traumatic situations, that's in your frontal lobe and some things never goes forgotten. And you can think back in grave detail. Now, if you can't, then that's maybe a glitch that you have. But I remember playing a fork game with my brother at two years old and I wanted to up one and I didn't have a fork left and the poop came up. Boop, boop, boop. We jumped out the tub. I was two years old. I remember my mom locking the keys out the house at two years old. We came from the barbershop and she put me through the back window, placed me in the tub and I walked to the front door, opened the door. So don't tell me you don't have a memory. It's selective memory. And a lot of times it didn't happen, but no disrespect to her. But that curveball got knocked out the park by the Republican Party because all it did was motivate and encourage and galvanize that side. But as black men, it's time for us to become Democratic Republicans. OK, the Republicans, you know, they're far gone. We, we did that already. Uh, the Democrats, they're far gone. Every every true Christian in the South uh, that used to be a Democrat done, done switched the, the script and moved over because the Democratic Party doesn't uh, want God in the schools. Uh, they want genderless bathroom. They want a child to pick their sex based on how they picked their left or right hand when 
you know, those biblical principles are still plausible, but the issue is the agenda because, you know, it's not about who you choose to have sex with your sexual disposition. We all are created equal and I'm no one to judge, but all I'm saying is the agenda that the Democratic Party has is to phase out and erase the black man off the planet Earth. And that's not going to happen. So as Susan Collins so elo eloquently spoke yesterday and, and, and gave her justification as to why she's going to vote him in, Jeff Flake showed me how powerful how powerful a swing voter could be. And that's what the uh, Better Black America and this no party preference movement is all about. And this A Better Black America agenda is inclusive to everybody because everybody's black, okay? The black is, uh, the B is for black, the L is for Latino, the A is for Asian, which cover all Mongolians, the C is Caucasian, which covers all Aryans who choose to rock with us, and the K is for kinsmen, black. Kinsman. The K in kinsman means blood related by definition, which means we're all connected. Because if you pull the blood of a hundred random people, black, white, or indifferent, you cannot uh, identify the race of that person based on their blood. So we're human. We didn't come from monkeys. There was no evolution. That was Charles Darwin's theory. Just like we believe that the um, women's movement, Times of the Me Too, uh, is Freud's theory penis envy you know but jeff flake jeff flake showed me something on how powerful we could be as being middle of the road as no party preference voters meaning we can control what goes on because we'll be the deciding vote because hillary clinton she wants to say that it was the russia probe and all that no i couldn't find a black man that voted for her that i knew personally or we even would admit to doing so but i've had a lot of people and I would call them homies because they from the hood said the first and last time that they voted was for Obama but if we got an agenda on the table and we're looking to become sovereign and socially and economically uh, balanced out from an equity perspective not an equality because there's nothing on the tables that can actually change anything from an individual perspective so all the laws are on the table so this time's up and me too is them doing a civil situation to go after their brother in which they have issues with and it's not our fight it's not our fight so as black men it's time to own our disposition we all got boots we got all sizes so it's time to pull them up time up and sport them because this next phase 2019 and i'm gonna get into that because the, you know the, the 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 smoke is clearing and it's clear that what happened has to be fixed or resolved because this regime changing the black family, giving the power to the woman and allowing the white woman and the gay white man to take the entire Democratic Party and to do what they want to do with this clearly does not represent us or our race. And then to black women, you're still black. You know, so this minority thing, I understand women have to have layers of protection. But your sexual disposition, your choice does not trump your race until you gay black men. Same thing. So as a black race, we are not a minority. And if you are a black heterosexual male, we're going to fight to get out of the minority pool because the minority pool is women, white women, uh, gay white men, the LBGTQ community, immigrants, the whole nine. It's the Democratic bus. But we have to understand the difference between capitalism and socialism and we have to take the take um, advantage of the climate where we are right now and to evolve economically from a capitalist perspective also fight for the socialist things because everyone should have ha adequate education and everyone should have adequate health care so i'm gonna I'm close with this i'm gonna close with this If two elephants, two elephants fought to the death on the plains of Africa, two alpha males with their tusk, and they just fought, 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 and they killed each other, just like the two-party system. If those two big elephants killed themselves and, 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 and mauled each other from a big fight, the only thing that suffers is the grass. And with that being said, man, have a great Saturday. Better Black America. We're we going to keep coming at you socially and economically. Socially and economically is the next phase. Until next time, a better Black America.